Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. You know, um, it appears to me to a certain extent. Well, I ain't going to say to a certain extent. It, it, it's more obvious than, you know, suggested that Lomachenko is looking for selective smoke. Yeah, I mean, he talk a good game. He say, yeah, he want to do this. He want to do that. But then it don't look like he hell bit on getting these fights made. I already told you that he had no intentions on ever fighting Michael Garcia. I don't believe he could beat Mikey Garcia. I never believed he could beat Mikey Garcia. And if the fight was to take place at 135, he gets beat by Mikey Garcia. Now, I know to a certain degree, sometimes you have to convince your fans and sometimes even yourself that you want that fight. But if Mikey Garcia really went at Lomachenko and pressured him and say, hey, I want Lomachenko right now. I want him now. I want him next. Coming off a loss, I guarantee you that I don't think that fight still would get me. And then Tiafimo Lopez seems to want some smoke. And once again, you have Lomachenko. Well, I don't know about that guy. And I think he is... I think he is 50-50 with Tank. And I think probably depending on what happens Friday, it may be 55-45 in favor of him not wanting to fight Tank. Now, Kami, he might fight him because he feel like he might beat him. Devin Haney, no way. Lomachenko is not going to remotely go near Devin Haney. But at the same time, I still think Devin Haney is a few fights away from a guy like, you know, a guy like that. You know, Lomachenko is good, but I, I, I feel like Devin Haney ain't there just yet. He's close, but he's not there yet. He probably like maybe two or three more fights away from being ready for Lomachenko. Maybe. He might could get him now, but you never know. You know, Devin Haney is only 20 years old. You know. But I just don't think Lomachenko is looking to fight those kind of dudes. Because all the guys that I've named, Tank, Tiafimo, Devin Haney, they're just as fast and athletic as Lomachenko is maybe even faster and I think as far as power go it's obvious Tank hits harder than Lomachenko. As far as power go it's obvious that Tiafimo Lopez hits harder than Lomachenko Devin Haney it might be even as far as power go but I just don't see Lomachenko going that route because you've already heard rumors about Lomachenko maybe winding it down and that he may be looking to get up out of the box. Keep in mind, he's 31 years old. This man that had like over 400 amateur fights, which basically, which basically, you know, you might as well add that as far as his pro career go. You know, Lomachenko chose to fight in the Olympics twice and that's great, he's a two-time Olympic gold medalist but I think Lomachenko should have turned pro earlier because then he might would have a better uh, resume and then he would have more fights in and then we could truly establish him like where we place him as far as all-time great fighters go. I don't have Lomachenko ranked that high. I'm sorry. I just don't. I think Lomachenko lost out on, based off the fact he decided to pursue the Olympics again. I think Lomachenko, you know, another four years, I think that's that's anywhere from you know 12 to you know what I'm saying 12 to 16 fights that Lomachenko lost out on you know because if you fight three to four times a year four you know four, four fights a year that's you know time four times you know four is 16 or at least three times so we don't know where we rank Lomachenko I just can't have this dude as an all-time great after 
you know what I'm saying, after uh, after 15 fights, maybe, I think you got to at least get in that, 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 that 25, 30, 30 range before we start really, you know, analyzing where you rank among the all-time greats. And I don't think Lomachenko is headed towards uh, 20 fights because it looked like he's very selective on who he wants to fight. So like I said, man, he may fight Kami Dan. He may fight, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't be surprised if he pursues a rematch with Lenoris, maybe. But then again, you never know. Lenoris gave him so much trouble because Lenoris was on the verge of possibly winning that fight if he didn't get stopped. Yeah, he stopped him. Yes, he did. But at the same time, Lenoris gave Lomachenko trouble dropped him you know so the fight was up for grabs so we'll see man where, where Lomachenko is man but to me Lomachenko wants selective smoke he not saying he want to fight all those dudes and we all then came to the conclusion Lomachenko is not moving up to 140 if Tiafimo goes to 140 and he definitely ain't going to no 147 so Lomachenko, to a certain degree, the walls is closing in on him. I'm just being honest, man. I'm out.